Techno pop mixed with like uh like a folk funk a folk funk mixture really. Well, like we also tend we have influences from uh, rage rap and Celtic funk as well as. Well, rage rap is truly the new California pop, which it, which yeah. derived from like places like Africa and Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Devin, you should come tell us the story with us. Okay. How'd you guys get started? This is Devin, our, sit. our light man. Sit okay. on the ground. Sit on the ground. Sit on the ground. Who do you think you are? You think you're in the band or something? <laughs> he is in the band, yes. Yeah. He's a little respect. He's around the band. So, anyways, how'd you guys get started? Well, basically, I knew Iggy Pop's aunt, and she knew a man named Brian Carmichael. He owned a series of studios in East LA, and they recorded our first single with Keisha and the Beastie Boys. It was called, That's Not My Dingo, Get Off My Porch. So, uh, how'd you guys meet? Well, me and Devin met at a Starbucks, and I was ordering a grande frappuccino, and he was ordering a non-fat pepperoni pizza. Basically, we got talking, and he told me about his light-holding skills, and I knew from there that we, me and him had to start a band. Well, me and Ian, funny story, really. Funny story. So, we're at a mini putt course, right? <laughs> I'm just playing my game, obviously getting hole-in-one here, maybe a two-stroke there. I'm pretty skilled at mini putt. That's true. Yeah. But um, he is good. I get to the windmill and I see Ian's climbed up the top, and I hear, I hear the sound of an angel coming from the top of that windmill, and I say, "Hey, birdie! I thought it was a bird, to be honest, a singing bird, but there was Ian up there, and I said, "Well, you get down here." So after all that. Um we did, um, all met at a uh, laser tag place, and uh, you know it was a it was a great night. We were at birthday parties, and uh, then this fat chubby kid just fell down the stairs, and you know we all just crowded around <laughs> yeah. him and started we're shooting just him, picking him off, picking him off. Pew. He's screaming, "My spleen hurts!" Yeah. Like crazy yeah, like, stomach shot. We had to, we shot. all got on the top five leaderboard. Yeah. He's sitting there it was, crying. It was terrible nah. but beautiful at the same it's time. It's a very uh, touching story, I see. Yeah, but, well, it's. Let us finish because yeah. after the oh, game, no problem. After when we, you know, we when we went to get our cards, the guy said there was some foul play involved. Now the top five Classic. people <laughs> all were banned from the laser quest. Yeah. So we Bull decided. Where do you guys see yourself in the future? Where, where do you see yourself? In the present, I see. I see Justin Bieber opening for us. Yeah. yeah. Okay. See, there's Bieber fever right now, mm -hmm. but I'd say soon, fast as the sea lion will be causing Bieber fever till you get a Bieber seizure, basically. And you'll be spending your Bieber leisure time listening to us. Exactly. And we'll be like Bieber Caesar. <laughs> Hi, my name is Boris Karloff. I'm the drummer for the band As Fast As A Sea Lion 5, and this is my new banjo. That's a ukulele. guy I guess I'm, I'm okay at holding lights I guess you know I've done it before but uh, I'm actually a biochemist 
I uh, graduated from uh, University of Cambridge. Don't and tell them anything. I, I'm gonna like. One week ago, the sweet, supple soul died in this room. A room of gloom, a room of doom. Is he a zombie? No. We know he's dead because we gave him arsenic. We poisoned him. Look. Look at his face. Look at his face. Nothing is left. Only death. This is so indie. This is just, <laughs> this is just really indie rock right now. Indie rock. 